Hi guys, welcome to Watkins Way. I got a good show for you today. We're gonna make fried green tomatoes. I went down to the farmer's market this morning in Laguna Beach, and when you, if you wanna make fried green tomatoes, get them that are firm. If they're kind of the least bit mushy, don't get those, because they'll get mushy when you fry them. So we want them to be pretty firm. The center piece out here. And our ingredients today, I was making these about a week ago and I was looking for some kind of sauce to put on the fried green tomatoes. Because what we do is we put them in buttermilk, cornmeal, and panko breadcrumbs. And I had two more slices left over and I thought, well, I'm gonna try Frank's hot sauce. So we're gonna have buffalo fried green tomatoes. So let's get, let's get busy here and use a serrated knife, especially these tomatoes, are, they're pretty firm. So a serrated knife works better. So, and, you know, not too thin, not too thick pieces. And then what do I do? I cut up some ahead of time, because what, what I want to do is get some of the liquid out of here. And what we do is put a little salt on here. That'll draw out some of the liquid. We got Crisco in here at 350 degrees, and of course, knowing Watkins Way, I got a little bacon grease that we're gonna add to it. So now, we're gonna add our breadcrumbs, panko breadcrumbs, uh, one cup, two cups of cornmeal, and we're gonna add a little cracked pepper to it. And a little bit of salt. This is buttermilk. And pour the buttermilk in there. Add a little Frank's hot sauce. See, we see the hot sauce in here. Then put our tomatoes in. And we're gonna make a blue cheese dressing from scratch to go with this today. And this is a, it's a pretty good meal. It's hard to find green tomatoes. You can pretty much gotta go to a, a farmer's market. Most of the grocery stores rarely will ever have green tomatoes. All right, so we got those in here. Just gonna put these here like this. And then I'm just gonna turn them over, put a little stuff on there, just coat them a little bit. All right, so you're gonna hear a little, you're gonna hear these tomatoes frying here just in a second. There we go. And this is gonna be a nice golden brown color. I think there was, wasn't there a movie called Fried Green Tomatoes? Does anybody remember that? And I, you know, I'll leave these probably in here, I don't know, till they turn brown, two or three minutes. I don't know if you ever had fried green tomatoes or not. They're, they're pretty tasty. All right, let's turn our tomatoes. Let's take a look at them. I like to kind of peep underneath. Well, it's looking pretty good. And you just want to get your pan where, see how the, the Crisco is kind of covering the tomato? That's what you want to do. You don't want to put any less in. You can't put too much. If you put them in there and they floated, they float to the top when they're done, so you can't go wrong. But you, you don't want to be moving them around too much. You know, give it a good two or three minutes. See how they're golden brown? Like, you can see this one right here? And how they've got the brown on here? That's just about what you want. All right, our tomatoes, we cooked them about three minutes per side and they're just about done, they are done. So what I wanna do, there's quite a bit of grease in there, I wanna just put them on a paper towel. These are good, you guys should try these. This, you can try this at home, it won't hurt you. See that, right there? All right, now what we're gonna do, so stay with me, uh, we're gonna make some blue cheese dressing from scratch, and that's gonna be what we're gonna serve these tomatoes with. And remember, these are 
The reason we're gonna do the blue cheese dressing, you know, if you go to and order buffalo wings, you, you get the carrots or the celery, uh, ranch dressing, or they give you blue cheese dressing. So the reason I'm making blue cheese dressing is these are buffalo fried green tomatoes. Stay with me. All right, the ingredients for our blue cheese dressing is sour cream, a three quarters cup of sour cream, three quarters cup of just regular mayonnaise, some buttermilk. Buttermilk really adds it, gives it a little kick to it. We don't want to get it too thin, so I might have to add some more in a minute, but I'm gonna mix this up. Then the good part is our blue cheese crumbles. I don't think you can add too many blue cheese crumbles. So I put about three quarters cup of blue cheese crumbles in there. And we're gonna mix this up. And I got my secret ingredient coming up just in a second. And this, you should make this at home, but it's for, you know, if you're gonna make wings or even chip dip or whatever, this is a good dressing. The buttermilk gives it a good flavor. I got some, fresh apple vinegar from the Temecula Olive Oil Company. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of vinegar in here, kind of give it a little bit of a kick. So I would probably do just about two, two tablespoons. And then we're gonna mix this up. And if you're doing this at home and it's too, uh, if it's you know too thin, you can just add some more mayonnaise or some more sour cream more blue cheese, you know, just, you just want to keep it just about what this is right here. So now that we got our green tomatoes all done, let's put some blue cheese in here. Let's just set this in our dish and let's make it look pretty. Let's garnish it with a little bit of green onion. All right, there you have it. Our buffalo fried green tomatoes with our blue cheese dressing made from scratch. Garnished with a little bit of green onion. And guess what? I'm thirsty. It's classy cocktail time, so stay with me. All right, welcome to classic cocktail time. Today we're going to make a daiquiri. And I didn't know this until I was find, trying to find out where the daiquiri was first made. Daiquiri, there's a little town in Cuba called Daiquiri, Cuba. And that's where it was made. And then it was first served in 1914 at the Astro Hotel in New York City. So let's make our daiquiri. I'm just gonna, we're gonna put in a shaker over ice. So we're gonna do about, oh, about an eight count of rum or about two ounces. And we're gonna use some fresh lime juice. Always use fresh juice when you're making drinks. No, don't buy that. Uh, roses or anything like that. So about three, about, a, about one and a half limes. And let's do one more. And then we're gonna kind of do it the Watkins way today where it calls for a simple syrup or sugar. And I got simple syrup, but I also found this. It's a lavender Syrup. So I'm going to add lavender syrup and let's do it's about a half ounce of lavender syrup and then we're going to put it in our shaker and we're going to serve it in a coupe glass. You guys know what a coupe glass is? This is a, this is a coupe glass right here. So I'm going to make sure I got this on. Sometimes I don't and I'll make a mess. We're going to shake this up and gonna strain it into our coupe glass. And I should be a bartender. And that's it. And we're going to garnish it with a, a lime wheel. That's it. I'm going to take a sip before we leave, but I'm not picking that up. Wow, you can really taste that lavender. That's the way to do it. Lavender 
that lime juice. So good. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.